Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler had fun. Uh, what did you uh, what did you think of just overall pro experience at nationals and the idea of the uh, the progression draw? That's the that's the, probably the big talking point from the player side. Yeah, the progression draw. Loved it, hated it, was indifferent all at the same time. Uh, I think it's a great system for viewership. The fans struggle to watch it this time, but I think as everything gets ironed out, it'll ultimately make it easier to follow. Like if Zane's playing, you can see center court this time. So better for that and better, like better just experience for the viewers and for the players. Cause now I can have lunch, like a singles day. You're going five matches in the day and I'm not the best at like really checking everything. So it's like, am I on in 10 minutes? Am I on in an hour? You don't know. Right. It just makes all that easier. There was a little bit and it was during the rain delay where some matches went late. I think I finished a match at, I want to say like 1030 or 11 and then singles was slated at 10. Luckily, they were nice enough to kind of put me in the later time slot for the singles matches. So I started at noon, but stuff like that can arise. So when you are playing three different events and they are so spread out during the day, maybe having more courts is the way to do it. But then you have to look at more courts. Does that mean more cameras and uh, just the overall kind of balance of how much you want to spend on the actual fan experience? Mm hmm. So why do you think uh, why do you think it was confusing for fans just because it was brand new or? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like probably 10 of my buddies were like, how'd you do at nationals? And like these are like my diehard buddies that have group chats that are like texting each other when I'm playing and stuff just because I don't think there was like an order of play that went out as like concisely as it like should have. And so it was tough for someone to follow along where you can kind of like do your job and throw the stream on in the back. And then when someone comes on, it's like, Oh, all right, we'll queue in They're Like no idea if you're on center, what court, no idea if it's singles, men's doubles. Typically my buddies know that I might have slightly better results in singles, uh, weirdly enough. Uh, and so they would queue in more on like a Thursday. And so just all these things kind of changed it up. So at least now we've we've somewhat solved the the issue of being able to tell somebody when you play, but it's mm -hmm. still slightly more confusing with, you know, what court are you going to be on? Now we need to know where you're going to play. Are you going to be streamed? At least now we've figured out one of the things, which is when are you going to play? That's a big that's a monumental step in pickle. So w yes or no. Do you want 2024? This is, uh, I'm Connor Pardo. I'm asking you your your opinion. You want the PPA to be progression draw for 24? Yes. And I'll leave <laughs> it's it. It's a yes. There. Hold it. Hold it to it. <laughs> You're on record. <laughs> and like that sentiment, like, yeah, like I, I'm an optimistic guy. And I think progression draw has the most potential. Like if that's done well, that's going to be better than if the other way is done well, because you can have matches ordered very meticulously you can make sure if you have enough courts timing is better like with mixed in some of the events like you're going until like nine or ten just because it's a bigger draw you put all the quarters on center all this stuff so this way you can have a better setup so i think it's a great system now that being said if you lose early in one you like during the that day you have to mentally reset and so it's a different type of mental strength and to be able to play three different events in the same day it's just a very different environment i think it lends itself to someone who plays singles and goes deep because now all of a sudden it's not thursday two days off and now i got to figure out what i'm doing for singles on a sunday mm -hmm. interesting any any uh any tweaks or or thoughts on what you would Obviously, this is the first time around, mm -hmm. like anything that you would do differently with the progression draw. Yeah, I mean, I think I just put like my matches on center for yeah, all there of you them. Go, obviously, like that, that would be first and foremost. And then just make sure all of my buddies are on center as well. Yeah, for sure. Fly, no, I fly them out. Like <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, like the full like five star hotels, like all that get them cheering. But I thought 
I think the progression draw was solid. Like I think just getting the order of play out sooner is probably for the fans to kind of follow along is the big thing. But liked like the format reigns a little bit out of out of our control. So mm-hmm. no real knocks to it except just get that information in front of the fans as soon as possible. So you think uh do you think do you want to continue with three out of five for early rounds or early rounds two out of three and later rounds three out of five? I love the three out of five. If you're going to do a progression draw, you need to do three out of five. Okay. I, I think just because if you do anything less, you're playing one match a day. Like you can come out slow and still be able to win in three out of five. Whereas two out of three, you could be on like Wednesday, get one chance and lose. And you don't even get like the full day. Like it's just less forgiving. And if you're only get if you're not going to let people get settled in. So by the third match, they're, feeling themselves then you need to have that three out of five is like a way to play through okay gotcha tommy thoughts um no thoughts no thoughts he's like the kid that got called in class that wasn't paying attention <laughs> <laughs> he's just laughing. He's I, got have no, I, <laughs> I have no thoughts on the progression draw it's just like if i can watch pickleball we're good all right yeah. perfect well personally i i like it thank you guys for asking me about my thoughts Wait, so, um, so thomas what were you thinking again sorry uh so, someone jumped in there yeah i wasn't uh i wasn't thinking much but Dane, <laughs> hey, i know you want stay the with floor. us stay <laughs> with us Tommy. <laughs> hey, Zane, what are your thoughts <laughs> oh wow well, I'm so, so glad you asked uh i think we actually talked about progression draw a while ago i like it i think it can probably be done just more efficiently, like have better court assignments and whatnot communicated better. But um, I think the idea of at least having a set time for where you're going to play or a semi set time, that's huge. Uh, I think that's much more legitimate than, you know, the, uh, the whole, you know, you play at 10 AM and then you could be playing again at two or you could be playing at 10 45 yeah it's yeah it's just uh that that much is a bit of a disaster um so i would love to see progression draws for 2024 and three out of five or two out of three um i think you made a good point that uh that i think maybe you do multiple rounds of two out of three early in the week uh so maybe you're doing two men's doubles two mixed doubles whatever um i haven't thought that through completely but like maybe some of those earlier rounds are are shorter and multiple per day uh but i think i definitely think that the probably quarterfinals on should be three out of five um yeah and then that starts on a wednesday so the other like thing that a few buddies were talking about is like now if you're like maybe matt writes a good example here have like a full-time job or like a coop like are you and they don't play singles so now you're forcing some of these doubles players to come in and play on wednesday so that's something else that just gets thrown into the equation with this fuck matt right i mean like (laughs) at this point we're making enough money where like you're either you're either in or you're out so like we're not we got to take the sport more seriously you can't cater to the couple of people that still have full-time jobs like Good for them. That's awesome. I, I have a ton of respect for the people that, that have full time jobs, but the, the sport can't hold itself back just because a couple of people have jobs. So fuck Matt Wright, basically. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like that take, actually. Um, I don't think people say that enough. It's like we're always talking what, about fuck Matt Wright. <laughs> people say that a lot. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, let's just leave it at that because it's funnier that way. Um, <laughs> No, uh, no offense, Matt, right? I'm all right. You guys know that we work with Viore, uh, best sponsor ever because yeah, we constantly wear their stuff. I'm wearing my shirt right now. I've been playing in this shirt a lot. Um, but I pretty much wear it everywhere. Uh, especially when I'm traveling, I wear those, uh, sweatpants that they have. They have a bunch of different options. Um, I'm a big fan of the joggers, but, uh, you can go to viore.com slash the dink to get 20 for 20% off your first purchase. Uh, and enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75 and free returns. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash the dink. Discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, darling, how's it going?